Tehillim Psalms 106. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of Yahuwah? Who can show forth all his praise? Blessed are they that guard judgment and he that does righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Yahuwah, with the favor that you bear unto your people. O visit me with your Yahshua, that I may see the good of your chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not your wonders in Mitzrayim. They remembered not at the multitude of your mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make at his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as through the wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And the waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Then believed they his words. They sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted El in the desert. And he gave them the request, but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moshe also in the camp and Aharan, the Kodashi of Yahuwah, the earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and covered the company of Avriam, rather Aviram. And a fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Chorev and worshipped the molten image. Thus they changed death, their glory into the similitude of an ox that eats grass. They forgot El, their savior, which had done great things in Mitzrayim, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore, he said that he would destroy them. Had not Moshe, his chosen, stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yea, they despised the pleasant land. They believed not his word, but murmured in their tents and hearkened not unto the voice of Yahuwah. Therefore, he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed also among the nations and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also unto Baal, Peor, and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions, and the plague broke in upon them. Then stood up Pinechech and executed judgment, and so the plague was stayed. And that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forevermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moshe for their sakes, because they provoked at his ruach, so that he spoke unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy at the nations concerning whom Yahuwah commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen 
and learned their works. And they served at their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed at their sons and at their daughters unto devils and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works and went to whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of Yahuwah kindled against his people, so much so that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard at their cry. And he remembered for them his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives. Save us, O Yahuwah Eloheinu, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto your holy name and to triumph in your praise. Blessed be Yahuwah Elohai of Yahshara'el from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Hallelujah.